Hello everybody, I'm Olivia Kinney here with Coach Pat Henry in Aggie Lane at the Murray Faskin Indoor Facility. I am super pumped, it is newly built. As you can see, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So Coach, thank you so much for but, having us and giving us a grand tour. Yep, glad you're here and welcome to Aggie Lane. Welcome to Aggie Lane. How do you gig them all the things? So let's go ahead, take a closer look at what Coach Henry has built here at Texas a and currently inside the newly built indoor facility. It's absolutely gorgeous. How does it feel to actually be inside of it now? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's uh, I, I just think the athletes, I think it's gonna be uh, a great venue for our athletes, but I think for the people sitting up there, I think this would be a tremendous venue. If you sit on this side, of course you're closer to the pole vault, you sit down on that end, you're closer to that, to that long jump runway, and then we have a long jump runway right behind this pit. I also like how you have the different levels of the bleachers as well. Like here in the top corner, it's very high up, but you also have it kind of lower down too. Yeah. Was that something that you wanted to make sure was implemented into this facility? Yeah. We wanted to get the, our amount of seats that we wanted to get, but the span of the building but we wanted to put as many seats as we could put in here so then we could go high at some places. Some places you weren't able to go as high as you would like to go, but it, it, yeah, we, it, it works. Is this the same scoreboard that was in the other indoor facility? It's the same one except awesome. electronics is updated. Gotcha, so, it looks very beautiful. Yeah, so it looks more like a TV screen than yeah. a video board, mm -hmm. you know. We built uh, all of these storage bins on this side and on that side. Oh, so lovely. That, so you have nice storage in here. So you, you know have the what wickets. Those I are. know exactly what those are. Yep. <laughs> and the chalk too. So uh, every one of these bins, we can roll our hur hurdle carts in here with all the hurdles on them. So we can get them uh, underneath on, on the other side. Mm -hmm. We don't want to roll the hurdles from this side, go across the long jump areas, go across the track. So we, the hurdles are in those containers over there. One time when we need to run a meet where we put people on, on the award stand, we have the round award stand. Oh, I here. see. So as you see, this will... Oh, and lovely. Then, and that's, that's the award stands. And Beautiful. What do we have? Eight of these in eight of these containers, so. This indoor facility holds about 4,000? Yep. 4,000 people. See, from right here, you can see that turn. Yes, the 12 degree. Yeah. Okay, Coach, we're coming around the final bank of the indoor facility. Why don't we go ahead and take a closer look at the press box? Sounds good. Home of the Aggies. The track team. This wheel. Has their own spot here. Yep. All right, Coach, I don't know about you, but this has to be one of the best seats <laughs> in the house. We are in the press box, in the broadcast area. What went into the design of just this part of the indoor facility? Well, of course, this is an open air, and this is where uh, <clears throat> ESPN will sit in this area and do everything that they do. They want to do it open air, so that's what this is. Right next to it is a regular press room, and I think we can see uh, right at 35 people we can see in the press room. There's two levels in there. Then next door is the timing group. Mm -hmm. And then next door to them is the announcers group. And then the next room is a VIP booth for people who we want coming in here to, to watch the meets. And then the, the bathroom, the main thing is right <laughs> Is right behind us. <laughs> That's right. I just want to say thank you for that. Yep. Greatly appreciate you thinking about that <laughs> when you went into this design. Why don't we go down to the athletic training room? I think you have some really nice okay. things in there as well. It's just beautiful. Coach, 
Coach Henry, we are inside the athletic training room. I am super stoked for this because you have incredible things going on in here. You have some benches, some chairs, you have an amazing cold tub. What was, what was something that you wanted to make sure was implemented into this room? Well, this is kind of a meet day room. You know, the kinds of issues that you would have on meet day, we can, we can solve in here. Um, and, and that's what this room is for. This is for Saul Luna is our head trainer. Uh, but this is his, this is a satellite room for him from his main room down down at EV Cushing, so I think this is going to work out great. Um, and for an outdoor meet, when you go out these doors to the side, you're you're on the outdoor warm up facility, so this will also work very well for our outdoor meets as well. All right, Coach. The literally right behind our yep. shoulders is the outdoor track, but also the outdoor warm-up area for these athletes. So let's take a closer look at that. Sounds good. Coach Henry, we're here outside the indoor facility, but yep. obviously right behind us, it's absolutely beautiful. You have the throws here, you have this curve, the track. Just talk to me about what went into making sure that this was all suitable to the standards of Texas A&M. Yeah, I mean, we, we have a, as you can see, like it's in the shape of a big candy cane. So you can run a 200 meters over here. We can actually run about 260 meters. Okay. Uh, but we have a sprint zone four by one zone right over there. And this is the same radius as EB Cushing. Okay. And that's why you couldn't put a whole track here. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you can see, we built, there's one javelin runway right there. I see. Our discus cage is right over there. And, and it's this in the same exact same angle as our last discus cage. So, so that um, just like today, you catch a nice wind here. Mm -hmm. If there's ever a wind coming off the coast, we catch it out of that one. But then we ha we can set up five intermediate hurdles on here mm -hmm. uh, for warm up for out for outdoor meets. But for indoor, it we allow we has all of that area to warm up. Mm -hmm. Javelin run runway discus. This is our hammer cage, mm -hmm. and the hammer the nets are not up that that you put up around the hammer cage to protect people. But then we have our other discus cage is right down there on that end. So we can throw the discus out of here. We can throw the discus out of here. We have some multi-event uh, shot put rings down on that end, but we throw the shot down at EB Cushing. Mm -hmm. uh, so from a thrower standpoint, this is about as nice as, as it gets. Mm -hmm. And how they kept it green through the winter, I have no idea, <laughs> but, but they have. I must say, I think the for me as a former sprinter, I think the most underrated piece about this is you have track. Like we just came up the stairs, we're kind of elevated. So there's track up on the steps. You have it coming down the rail here so athletes can keep their spikes on so they're not worrying about taking them off, putting them on. I think that's quite fascinating. Yeah, we got to take care of shoes. We got to take care of athletes. And so this just this is a way of helping it. We also have a, a up next to that black fence that goes all the way around and it goes all the way down to the other track. We have a, a six foot wide sidewalk that's covered too. Oh, wow. So you can uh, walk out of this building, walk around down to EB Cushing and, and never step on anything but track. And then boom, you're right there yep. at Cushing. Down below is where we built the um, implement check-in. Love that. All right, coach, we just came from outside. Now we're inside the implement check-in. What goes on inside this area of the facility? You know, when you can't say implement, you know she's a sprinter. <laughs> so this is, yeah, this is our implement room. Uh, it can be used both indoors and out as we just came in that door. Uh, we can uh, weigh in our hammers, our jabs, our, all of our shots and, and discus in here. Um, this is a great room. This is, this is an important room. This is our impound room. So when you weigh in a shot, it's impounded. It's kept in here until the shot put starts. Awesome. All right, so outside of these doors is going to be the runway area. So why don't you show us what that is about? Okay. So if you remember, you used to sit in chairs before you went out on the track to line up. Yes. So that's what this area will be. Okay. Okay. 
Where we get our hit numbers? Yep. Okay. Where they check our spikes? Yep. So as you can see, we have two, we have this shot put sector and shot put ring that we could use, but we're not right now. We're gonna throw the shot and the, multi, and, the, and the weight throw, we're gonna throw it out of the same ring. Okay. Okay. All right, so here's the runway area. Why was this so important for you to implement inside this facility? Well, we, we were just outside and it was pretty nice, mm -hmm. but if it was real cold, your sprinters would have a hard time warming up. Right. And you have to have a place where your sprinters can sprint indoors where your hurdlers can hurdle indoors without going out on the competition track. Mm -hmm. So this is a warm-up facility. This allows us to set blocks, which you can't see because we have, we're, we're just moving in and it's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Right down there where all of that plastic is, well, that's where the start, starting blocks will go and you'll run this direction. And then we'll have a, a return lane over there that they walk back to get back up here to, to do more acceleration or hurdle work. How long is this runway? 60 meters. 60, wow. Solid space. But you'd hit that wall pretty hard. You'd hit the wall pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to put up like one of those big mats? We have those mats? Joe Docks are, are up right now. And why don't we go now to the official holding area? Okay, that sounds good. All right, so this is where we're able to. The officials can kind of hang out. We can have. Uh, we can have serve a meal in here, and we can have a meeting with the officials on the day of competition. This is pretty big. Yeah. Got a little kitchen over here in the corner. That's nice. And then uh, if you go up those steps, you go up those steps, there's a door at the top, and it's where the officials will come into the facility and they'll park in the baseball parking lot. And then just walk across the street and come in. They have there's an official entrance door right there, and mm -hmm. they'll come in here. And uh, this is their room. You can also go out that door, but it's pretty muddy right now. They're still laying concrete out there. But a couple of restrooms in here for our officials, which is nice for those folks as well. Mm -hmm. Now, for a typical track meet, how many officials do you have? And we're gonna have a hundred, hundred and five normally. So this is you a good can space run, for them. Yeah, you can run a meet with 80, 85 people. Mm -hmm. Uh, but normally we have 100, 100 plus. You know, SEC, you're going to have 140. So we can sit, we can sit right at 100 in here right now. Awesome. Coach Henry, thank you so much for yeah. the opportunity for us to just take a closer look from the beams to just the press box to the track itself. You really have thought about everybody when you built this facility. So thank you so much for giving us the opportunity. Thank you for coming and, 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 and showing some folks what, what we've done here at Texas A&M. I, I appreciate you guys being here. Mm -hmm. One last thing, Gigamax. Yep, Gigamax.